click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in this topic we are going to talk about the structure of trioxalate cobalt ion on basis of PBD. So now let's get started. So friends, let us talk about the structure of trioxalate cobalt ion. So in that case, we understand that is the cobalt is the one that has an atomic number of 27. So therefore, we could write the electronic configuration and that is nothing but argon 18. That is, we could write 4s2, 3d7, 4p0. But here, we could find the oxidation number of this cobalt. It has been found to be because we understand that is C2O4, that is the oxalato ion, is the one that has an oxidation state of that is 2 minus. So, in that case, we could find that is the 2 minus. Suppose if we have to calculate the oxidation number of this cobalt, so in that case, we could get the oxidation number of this cobalt as 3. So, in that case, we could say that is. The cobalt 3 plus ion will have the electronic configuration that is nothing but argon 18. I could write here as because two electrons it will be lost from this orbital and one of the electron it will be lost from this orbital. So making this two we have that is 3d6 and this one would be 4s0 and this one would be 4p0. So therefore the orbitals that is what we have is we have that is d orbitals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5d orbitals that is this is 3d orbital this is 4s single orbital and this is 4p orbital so talking about this 3d subshell so therefore this shell is filled with six electrons so therefore we have to fill six electrons here that is one two three four five six electrons and there are empty orbitals for 4s and that is 4p and we also understand that is there are three moles of the oxalato which are surrounding the cobalt and let me talk about the other thing that is this c2o4 ligand is basically a strong field ligand and that's the reason that here basically we can find unpaired electrons but because of the approach of c2o4 and that also three moles they will get paired up and this is nothing but spin pairing and this will happen in such a way that is the empty orbitals that is what we could get will be this one when we could get that is two empty d orbitals we will get one s orbital we will get three p orbital but talking about oxalato oxalato is in fact a bidentate ligand that means one mole of c2o4 it will give four electrons or we could also say two pair of electrons so in that case let us understand the hybridization first so therefore this are the empty orbitals that is what we have and suppose if we understand that is one oxalato it will give four electrons so that's the reason that one pair this is a second pair that makes a ligand to have that is four electrons so that would be given to the central metal atom in that case it is cobalt ion this two this will have four electrons and that is because of the second oxalato that is c2o4 and this two it will be occupied by the electrons of the c2o4 and that is how basically three moles of c2o4 it will overall they will give the electrons of 12 so based on that let us understand the hybridization first so therefore we have that is d2 we have s and we have p3 so therefore the structure that is what we have over here is sp3 d2 so sp3 d2 is the hybridization that is cobalt 3 plus ion that will undergo through but based on the structure we also understand that is sp3 d2 is nothing but an octahedral structure and that is what the structure of the complex is but now let us understand the electron filling that would be because of the ligands so therefore one two three four this four ligands it is because of one c2o4 one two three four this is because of the second oxalate that is c2o4 and here we see one two three four it is because of the third that is c2o4 and this is how basically the overlapping will take place and this is what the electronic configuration of that is cobalt c2o4 3 3 minus ion it is so now let us discuss about the structure of it so talking about the structure of the cobalt complex so we understand that is the coordination number of the cobalt it is found to be six so therefore we have
oxaloto as a ligand so in that case we could say that is here the oxaloto one mole of one oxaloto is covering this two positions where it gives two lone pair of electrons this oxaloto it gives the two lone pair of electrons and here we see the oxaloto it provides two lone pair of electrons and thereby the structure that is what it is been formed it is basically an octahedral structure and that's it so now let us talk about the magnetism so while talking about the electronic configuration of the complex we have not observed any kind of unpaired electron so in that case we could say that is the overall complex is basically diamagnetic in nature and that's it so thank you very much for watching this video i hope i'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe to channel thank you so much